What's up guys? If you left a comment in the comment section of the last weekend video, then you are entered into the giveaway of a month-long patron pass. And the winner of that is, boom, congratulations. We'll be sending your patron pass to you just shortly. And once you guys see the video, you'll understand why we are announcing the winner of the Davillion giveaway as well. And the winner of the Elgard Wings and the three-day experience boosting potion is... Boom, right there. Congratulations, we'll be sending that to you just shortly as well. We're gonna hold off on giveaways this week because we're gonna try to figure out what we're doing with the channel and you guys are gonna see a lot of what I'm talking about in the upcoming video here. And so watch it, see what you think, leave comments below and I'll see you next time. What's up guys, Grim here. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of Davillion fun on the screen right now. And uh, I wanted to talk about several things over the weekend. I had other plans actually to make a video this weekend and well, it kind of got sidetracked because there's several things that I'm wanting to do for the channel and I want to run it by you guys and see what your thoughts are, see if you're very supportive of it or you think it's a terrible idea or anything. And we're going to go over a lot of different things, so uh, bear with me. Alright, so to start out with, I am wanting to put other types of games on the channel. Now, in the past I've always made uh, other games go on other channels of mine. Uh, I even had this grand idea one time where I was going to uh, make a different channel for every single game that I was going to play. I was going to have my Rift channel, I was going to have a, a World of Warcraft channel, a Minecraft channel, all this stuff because whenever you usually make gameplay of a certain game, people want to see more of that certain game. So if I'm only playing Rift, Generally, I only want to watch Rift gameplay on a YouTube channel. Now, I'll watch different live streams and all that. I'll watch some Hearthstone live stream, even if I'm not playing Hearthstone at the time. But as far as YouTube, I always wanted to watch just the game that I was focused on. So that's how I've always focused my YouTube channel as well, is to, you know, just play the one game that you guys want to see. And then if I play a different game to put it on another channel and see which one uh, develops the subscriber base the best. And uh, well, what ended up happening is I never did get enough time to make videos for the other channels. So I would make my three riff videos or whatever I was doing at the time, sometimes less, sometimes more. And then I wouldn't have time to ve put very many videos on the other channels so uh the world of warcraft channel would get one video and then the rest of the month it might not get another one who knows uh the minecraft channel got about three videos before i was like man i just don't have the time to do it and minecraft is huge so i was wanting to actually make a lot of gameplay and try to grow a channel like that because my passion is rift right now and uh, I have fun on other games, but my passion is Rift. So uh, even despite all this stuff, like all these decisions that Tryon is making that's infuriating a lot of you guys, I love the game. I'm going to stick with the game. I, I enjoy it so much. Even if they made it completely pay to win, I enjoy the game. You know, it's it's not... It, uh, let's... Uh, uh, it's hard to explain you know if I had to buy every single piece of gear or something like that probably wouldn't play it but it's not going to get that bad I mean it, they're they're obviously moving the market to be more uh, make more money and all that so it's going to force some things onto the players that's going to make them pay for uh, certain things like patron and all that so yeah that's how the game is going we're just going to have to swallow the the pill and go with it unless we want to just go to a different game so I'm sticking with Rift and the Rift channel has grown because I've given it the most uh, attention and love so to say and that was easy to do because I was passionate about the game I still am and also you guys have been so supportive I mean uh, you don't see any other Rift channel getting donations and uh, you know all you guys sending me tells constantly in the game telling me that you enjoy my videos that is huge I love that I mean 
the best thing that like if you're a painter the best thing ever is somebody to come up and go i absolutely love your artwork so whenever people compliment me on my videos man it feels really good all right so the other channels didn't get hardly any attention and the they were kind of falling apart and uh you know i i wasn't really worried about it too much because I hadn't put much effort into them so they wasn't really in a growing phase anyway and I was thinking well whenever I do get time to put more videos on those channels then I'll actually worry about you know uh, building the subscriber base and all that well it never came around and uh, so I just focused on rift I kept on making the rift gameplay well the entire time I would still play other games like right now I'm on Devillion so uh I, you know i would jump on trove i would jump on hearthstone i would jump on terra or eve online or any of these other games that i was enjoying but you know we uh it i wasn't ever really trying to make very much gameplay footage of it because i knew i wasn't going to be putting it on the rift channel and the other channels you know I just didn't have time to do the editing and all that to try to put a really dedicated amount of time to it. So now I'm seeing it that uh, even just having one other channel isn't really working out because uh, you know the Rift channel uh, it, it needs the three videos a week minimal because I think that is uh, you know what I need to stick to I need to stick to at least three rip videos a week and um, well if I start bringing in gameplay from some of the other games that will fill in days so take for instance if I uh, play like Hearthstone on Monday and then Tuesday put out a riff video Wednesday Davillion Thursday riff video Friday you know what other game and Saturday riff video, you know, it's all going to be focused around riff still But we're going to dabble in these other games because if people enjoy some of the other gameplay Maybe they'll you know, maybe we'll make more of it So if you guys like watching me play such as Davillion, you know You hit the thumbs up button on those videos and I'll make more Davillion footage because I enjoy the game as well um, So I'm wanting to bring other games into this channel I wonder what you guys think of it. Um, it will make the channel much more active, as in there will be more videos on the channel. Uh, second of all, we uh, we will have a lot more giveaways because I'm doing a Davillion giveaway on my other channel right now. Well, I'll be bringing all those giveaways and stuff to this channel, so you'll have the Rift giveaways, you'll have the uh, the Patreon giveaways. If you guys have been uh, going to the description below the video and actually even donating just one dollar a month, you are entered into giveaways of like the fifty dollars Steam card, the all these gifts from Rift and other games. So. Uh, we're, we'll be doing those giveaways, we'll be doing uh, Davillion giveaways, uh, maybe Trove and all these other games. And if you guys are interested in some of these other games, I will actually give you stuff to play them. So I think it would be a big win if we combined it all into one channel. <clears throat> um, okay, so uh, let me know what you guys think about in this uh, in the comment section below this video. Because I'm going to be reading every single comment. If you guys tell me it was an absolutely terrible idea, I'm going to read it. I'm going to know what you think. So, all right. So uh, I don't. I don't really have all the topics listed down. I really should have because I'm wanting to go over a lot of different things. So um, number two is uh, I'm wanting to do kind of a schedule that we're going to. Uh, um, dabble in different things uh besides other games so to say uh we'll have uh the gameplay footages the guides the giveaways all that stuff and then we'll have um uh like uh like q and a's like i'll do a video where i'm reading you guys's tweets and uh youtube comments and all that stuff and i'll i'll answer them right there on video so everybody can see it and uh, that will be a pretty cool thing. Uh, we'll do real life episodes like I always planned on. 
Um, let's see, what else are we going to be doing? Uh, we already got collaborations going with other uh, other people, uh, specifically in Rift. Um, the the, the um, let, uh, well, I, I don't even know how to say it, but basically, I've reached out to them, and they they are uh, producing footage right now, and we're going to have some collaborations going. So that's going to be very cool. Um, and it's multiple people, so we're going to have a lot of different things going on. Um, let's see. Uh, man, I really should have wrote all this down. But basically, as you can see, this is... I'm, I'm trying to turn this into a, a big ordeal. Uh, much bigger than we actually are. Because we're a Rift channel. We're a, Rift is not the biggest game out. And uh, actually, the the media attention that Rift gets is very, very small. Uh, the, take, for instance, the biggest... I mean, if you want to, uh, you know, speak about... Like, uh, Seton is inactive right now, pretty much. But his channel is still a bit bigger than mine. And... It's just silence my phone. Here, I, here I'm going... Okay, one second. Let me silence this. Getting... Uh, Atlas Reactor tweets. All right, so uh, Seton is a little bit bigger than me. We're, we're catching up to him because he's been inactive and we're probably going to pass him just shortly. But um, but uh, in all reality, we're the biggest Rift YouTube channel. And with Seton even being a little bit bigger than us, he's not even over 10,000 subscribers. Um, whereas if you look at a game like Minecraft, they have subscribers over a million you know I mean like uh, probably over 10 different youtubers have over a million subscribers that make minecraft uh, footage so uh, and then you got like the World of Warcraft people like I think Swifty's about the biggest one of those and he's about 700,000 subscribers or something last I checked it may be different now but then he has his real life channel that is about the same subscriber base so um, which you know I guess people just uh, enjoy watching him I wish his chair wasn't so squeaky I'm sorry about that um, so it, with 700,000 subscribers even on one channel that's you know massive compared to what the biggest Rift channel is and so there's only so big that we're going to get just making riff footage and uh i would like to dabble in some of these other games and uh see how people enjoy watching them we may do like even alien isolation gameplay we may do a lot of different games but i can tell you pretty much right now that uh most of the footage is going to be try on games because uh they've been very very supportive of me uh, I mean, uh, not only with Rift, but uh, they've been uh, basically giving me the hookup on Davillion to where I could show off the Tempest class uh, before it was even released. Uh, they gave me uh, like alpha access to Atlas Reactor and all that stuff, and they're just giving me that stuff, and that's awesome. And also, they're uh, helping me with giveaways and stuff like that now. Uh, I was one of the only people that was not asking for anything for giveaways, but yet I've been giving away stuff for two years now. And uh, But now that they've changed it to where the Rex is different in Rift, I can't really do the same kind of giveaways. I can't do... Uh, take for instance, whenever I was saying if you guys even win any giveaway, I'll give you five Rex right on top of it. Well, that was all Rex from the refer friend, and now I cannot get that. So I cannot give away all that Rex that I was I was planning on giving you guys before, because every bit of referral uh, points that I got, I was given to you guys, and uh, now that's not possible. So now I'm kind of like, all right, try. On. I could use some codes to give away, and they're like, okay, here you go. You know, other people have been getting these codes forever, so. Uh, here you go have some I'm like man everybody else has been getting these codes forever and I've been basically using up all my points to give away but it, it just felt good doing it you know it felt like I wasn't leeching or anything else but once I was no longer able to do that they stepped up and said we will help you 
here, have have codes, uh, have Davillion footage, have Atlas reactor access, have all this stuff, and they've been very supportive. So, um, you know, I, I'm going to stick by them as long as they stick by me. And um, that may mean that our channel is not going to get massive, maybe, I don't know. But, um, yeah, you got to have some loyalty. And, and they've been very supportive of me. Uh, you know, whenever I make World of Warcraft footage or any of this other stuff, I don't ever see Blizzard or any of those other people, you know, saying, hey, we, we support live streamers and YouTubers and all that. You might see them give somebody stuff behind the scenes, uh, such as like a Bajira or something like that. They might all of a sudden get something in the mail from Blizzard or an invitation to go to the Blizzard office or something like that. But they don't have any kind of real promotion like that, like Tryon does. Tryon gives us codes to give away on. If you go watch a, a Trove live stream, they're giving away a code every 30 minutes for like really good items. Uh, if you play Trove, uh, you will know that if you have like wings, like uh, if you jump off a tower, you can basically hang glide, you know, with these wings. And they got different kinds of wings that, you know, you can fly with. And uh, some of the best wings in the game, they give away in codes, you know, so everybody can get them and enjoy the look of uh these bell fire wings and all this stuff and uh, you know trove live streamers give away that stuff constantly because they're being supported by tryon and uh you know how, how can you how can you not like that you know that that's very supportive of the streamer base of uh the youtubers i mean intim was giving away codes and stuff for rift for a long time you know i heck i didn't even know about it until i won one of his giveaways on his channel i just jumped in there and was like hey what's going on in tim he was like well the winner is grim the gamer <laughs> i'm like okay and then he sent me a code that didn't even work I, I entered it in i didn't even know what i won and i entered it in and said the code has already been used so uh yeah <laughs> that, that's a funny story that i've never told but um so uh, I get sidetracked very, very easily. If you, uh, I, I start thinking about something and I go with it and then all of a sudden I forgot what the main uh, story was. So we're, we're basically going to try to build this channel up in a way like it is a massive channel. Um, it's not, it may never be, but we're going to provide all the tools to make it as big as it can be. All right, so uh, now uh, having a, a variety schedule like Q and A, uh, maybe even uh, I might even put a, a PO box. So if anybody wants to send stuff to me, uh, you know, like even a letter saying awesome video or something like that, you know, uh, I will probably put a PO box uh, in the description below at some point. Uh, of my videos and then you guys can send stuff if you like and then I'll make videos opening up the stuff uh, We will do the Q&A like I said we will do real life videos. We will do variety uh, Gameplay with different games. We will be, do be doing collaborations uh, giveaways um, Just all kinds of stuff and we're going to get back to the challenges and all that stuff uh, there's going to be so many cool things going on with the channel. I have so many things planned. Um, but uh, another thing that we're going to be working on is trying to get the sound a little bit better. Uh, the sound on my videos is always uh, kind of iffy because um, I basically have uh, uh, basically point down that way a Blue Yeti microphone that I have on a boom like out of the camera view i used to have it in the camera view and i didn't like it so i ended up making it to where it's outside the camera view and uh it's a good microphone for the most part it's pretty much the top rated microphone for just picking up and being being able to plug it into usb and doing youtube or live stream or anything else it's uh, what a lot of people use. I believe Chinglish still uses a Blue Yeti. I think I've seen him using it at uh, Swifty's house. So 
uh, yeah, it's a it's a decent microphone. The thing is, is that it's very very sensitive. If like the heat or air conditioning kicks on at my house, it picks it up like crazy. And you know, whenever that happens, stop recording. I warfront ruined everything. You know, I got to. I don't want bad audio in my in my videos if I can prevent it. And uh, if somebody walks in front of the door of the room or something like that and even if i have the door shut this microphone will pick up the footsteps it's terrible absolutely terrible that that happens so um i would like to get a better microphone and um also the the uh not only the microphone am i wanting to get better but we're going to have to have something that is going to be able to control like the bass the uh the uh noise suppression and all that stuff whenever you start talking about that stuff it gets a little bit more expensive because this uh blue yeti microphone it cost me i think between 70 and 100 dollars, something like that uh, I, I can't remember exactly but you can see the price on amazon because i bought it off of amazon so um but Whenever you talk about a better microphone and stuff, I already looked up one and there's one, I'll, I'll have all the equipment that I referenced probably in the description below so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I probably won't link, uh, well, yeah. Okay, I will. But um, the microphone that I was looking at was the Shure SM7B. And this is like a $300 microphone. The thing is, is that it's been used by like top recording, you know, people like even in the music industry. And I, I got tipped off to this microphone by watching a Trove uh, YouTuber because he, uh, I just recently started watching some uh, Trove uh, YouTube videos and I come upon a guy and his audio sounded awesome. And lo and behold, one of his recent videos, he was talking about the audio and he referenced exactly like the microphones that he went through and he didn't like and then he says this is the one that i love this is perfect it is not picking up background noise it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do and it's making the his voice sound like radio quality and that's exactly what i want i want to be able to uh have very good sound in my videos and so uh with the sure sm7b that will be able to provide it so i'm going to be working on getting that um of course i got lots of investments going here we we are going to be working uh, you know investing money on the studio and then we got to get this new microphone because it's going to be so much better for us but the the second thing that we're going to need is the real expensive item and this is the uh the preamp uh and it's the la 610 mark ii and this thing i looked it up uh online and it's selling at least over a thousand dollars you know uh most of the listings i seen it was like a thousand six hundred so it's going to be a very expensive item and uh it's going to be something that we can't just buy right off the bat um but that's what we're shooting for we're going to save up and we're going to get this because even if i don't get the studio done right now i want to have this audio set up right because whenever i am recording i can't really raise my voice i can't like uh if something happens on the screen i uh, screen i can't go oh my god you know i can't raise my voice because it's going to mess up the audio uh, it will hit a peak in the recording and it will start distorting and it will not only blow out your headsets or speakers But also it will sound terrible. It will distort and make a very bad sound. So uh, If we get this audio equipment what it's going to do It's going to make it to where I can you know if something happens and I go yes real loud It will be it will make it to where my voice sounds like I'm yelling but it's going to suppress it down to where like it will hit that ceiling but yet it will suppress it down to where it sounds normal but it's not going to blow out your headsets it's not going to blow out your speakers and it's not going to distort 
and also if I get real quiet in my videos a lot of times uh, during my uh, whenever I'm talking uh, especially whenever I'm at the end of a sentence especially in guides because I, I record the guides in segments I'll say okay over here on the masteries we got blah 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 and then at the last mastery my voice drops off because I'm at the end of what I'm saying and I just naturally get quieter and uh, well what this will do is it will raise my voice up to where it's never that quiet you will hear me get a little more quiet but you'll be able to still hear me so it's almost like somebody whispering and you can hear it still so um, we've got to get this stuff that's like a number one priority so uh, I'm going to be working on getting this Shure SM7B microphone and also this L LA610 Mark II preamp because that's going to be like the biggest thing for our channel. This is what we're going to need in order to give ourselves the ability to grow because we're just not going to grow very much if the quality is not going to be good enough and uh, the audio can't be where it needs to be. Uh, if you take for instance if you watch like a Jack Septic Eye or, uh, or even a PewDiePie or any of these guys, they're able to play the game and get very emotional in it. Uh, they can, they can, you know, run right into the bunch of enemies, get blown up, and they go, "Why did that happen?" You know, they they yell it out, and it's funny because it happened, and also you can enjoy the the moment of him being surprised that this just happened. He got surprised. Uh, you know, the it's just a lot of fun that you're going to miss out on if he cannot raise his voice. And that's what I'm doing. I have to basically keep my voice down so it does not distort. And that's terrible. So audio equipment is number one. Number one. But the other stuff is more feasible to get done beforehand. So uh, we're going to get the scheduling done. Uh... Uh, I'm wanting to see what you guys think about the other types of games on here. Um, let's see. We might play. I know a lot of people have been suggesting like Guild Wars 2. Um, let's see. Other games. Uh, may do a World of Tanks. Maybe doing uh, Trove. Uh, lots of different games that I would love to at least try. And then there's some that I'm playing off on the side that you guys are just never seeing. So... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of things that we want to do. Um, let's see, is there anything else I was wanting to talk about? We, we covered a lot of things. Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Man, I almost missed a big point here. Live streaming. Live streaming is uh, something that I really, really want to do. And I'm wanting to start doing it daily coming up. The big thing is, is that I just do not have... Uh, the setup so to say um, now my equipment seems to be running live streams fine I believe it is so we tested that out and I was not really dropping frame rates or uh, frames or anything like that my frame rate was good uh, everything about the stream was good I had music in the background we did lots of fun stuff I recorded the Davillion uh, Tempest gameplay right there live on uh, twitch and uh was able to put it in a video afterwards and that got me going why are we not doing this man why are we not live streaming and getting all of our gameplay footage off of there and you know that allows it to where i don't have to spend as much time editing that allows me, uh, like a bajira uh video if you guys watch bajira's channel He's basically taking live stream moments, the best live stream moments, and putting it into videos. And it's fun to watch. And people love watching it. He's got, whatever, 300,000 subscribers coming up. I think I don't think he's hit 300,000 yet. Uh, I may be way, way off. He, might, he may be a lot more. He may be a lot less. I, I think he's around 300,000 subscribers. But, you know, people love watching that kind of gameplay. And that would allow me to actually play the games more and edit less because the editing, I edit so much in my videos. Oh my gosh, I edit so much. And it takes so long. I spend hours upon hours editing all the time. And 
if I'm actually live streaming and we have the benefits of live stream such as everybody getting to watch it as it's happening getting to enjoy the moment and all that stuff and then we turn around and put it into uh, YouTube videos will be able to do things a lot faster and a lot more efficient so uh, the thing is is the setup that I was talking about is that I do not have overlays and all that I need to have some kind of overlays if any of you guys know how to make overlays I would love to see it uh, I know some of you guys are good with graphics I don't know if you do overlays though but uh, I would love to have some overlays for uh, the live stream such as you know the Twitter and uh, YouTube and stuff like that even my uh, my YouTube channel well the YouTube channel I, I was about to reference the second YouTube channel but we're thinking about combining that so um, yeah just things like that even the Facebook page and uh, that would be really cool to have some kind of overlay because basically Whenever I did a little bit of, um, what was it, Atlas Reactor gameplay, I was about to jump on live stream, and then I looked at the people live streaming, and they got this professional setup, man. They have uh, graphics all on the screen all over the place, and they've got sponsors and uh, overlays and all that stuff, and uh, pop-up notifications whenever somebody new follows. And I've done the where it plays like uh, shows like the song name and all that on my live stream, so I know how to do that, but. Uh, I don't have the notifications. I don't have like donation notifications or uh, that kind of stuff that these guys all have. And to tell the truth, I was a little discouraged. I seen their setups and I seen how plain mine was. Like it was just me on the screen, just like you're seeing now, and the gameplay behind me. And I was like, man, I I I can I can't compete with these guys, man. I need to have some overlays. Uh, I can make the stream exciting, but I need some overlays, man. I need people to be able to reference my Twitter and uh, my Facebook and my YouTube and all that stuff. And just like on the videos right now that you're watching, uh, I would like to have it to where I had some kind of overlay uh, that shows like the Twitter account and the Facebook account and stuff so that you guys can connect to me on social media as well. So. Uh, just so you know, I answer questions a lot more in, uh, in Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. It's always, it's still delayed responses, but, uh, on YouTube, it's, it's a lot harder to answer questions on there because there's just so many, uh, comments like that don't need answers. So to say, uh, like people will say, love the video and I'll read it and I'll go, awesome 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 you know I'll read the comments but it's hard to pick out the ones that are uh, um, questions so whenever you ask questions it's easier to do it on Twitter or Facebook on the Grim the Gamer Facebook or Twitter so yeah lots of big plans for this channel I hope you guys are going to enjoy the ride and be very supportive as you always have been uh, because Man, I, I'm hoping to bring this into a, a much bigger spectrum. Uh, it's in the works. Let's just hope it all comes to fruition. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.